Hello everybody, today we are in my backyard and we are going to be doing a simple range test with the DJI Mini 4 Pro. The advertising says that it can go up to 20 kilometers, but I'm not sure if I believe that. And we're in my backyard. The real world conditions out here, there's lots of trees, buildings and stuff, so if we lose signal or if we get nervous, I'll bring it back. Other than that, we're going to see how far we can take this in a single charge. So we're going to be putting this at 100 meters so that we can maintain a better signal. And we're also going to be flying in end mode, which is normal. And it is at full battery, 100%. And the wind conditions aren't super bad right now. So it should be a pretty fair test for the drone and us. Let's see how it does. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna give you little milestones and little check-ins so that you can see the signal strength, how far we've gone and the battery level at each marker. I'll probably do 500 meters, maybe a kilometer. Let's go. We're gonna get it 100 meters in the sky, so let's go. So, slight roadblock here, we forgot to log in. So the drone is now at, wait, 92% battery. So still pretty good, but now we're gonna take it off. We're probably gonna add another 500 meters to the range. Let's go. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's really high up right now. Okay, we are now at 100 meters. If you can't see that, then uh, I'll tell you we're at 100 meters. And um, we're only actually 3.5 meters out this way, so let's see how far we can get that distance. We are now at 581 meters out, and it is saying that we have two bars left of connection. I don't want to completely lose the signal, but it has come back a little bit. I am getting a little bit nervous, but we are going to press on and see if we can make it to the beach there. Okay, we are now at 600, or sorry, 764 meters out, and it says that we have a weak signal and we need to reposition the antennas. Of course, the antennas are perfectly fine. Um, that means that we're just losing connection through all of these trees and buildings and everything like that. Hopefully not lose connection, and then we'll just bring it back. All right, you guys, I think he's going to lose the drone. He's doing pretty stupid stuff, so like, yeah. <laughs> I told him not to do it, and he still didn't listen. So now it's starting to get incredibly laggy as we bring it forward more and more. And we're starting to lose connection because it is very, very laggy video here. And we are currently 1,030 meters out. Damn. I think that we're going to call it here in a bunch of buildings because the lag is just crazy. Okay. And we're going to see how much battery we get when we come back. And we're going to see how far the drone went total. We are currently at 1,083 meters. And we currently have one bar of connection and we are bringing it back to the home point. Uh, now we are at three bars of signal, so we're doing pretty good, okay? We have good connection. It's in the white, no red, no yellow. And as you can see, we're only about 400 meters away. Very responsive. It's very very responsive and actually. what's the battery Jolfin? and the battery is at 63 uh percent -huh. with still tons of battery to return to home so let's bring it back home the drone has safely made it back home it's okay. right here and we are left with 53 percent battery we went a total of about two kilometers one kilometer there and one kilometer back here so i'd say that the range is pretty good for normal use if you see something you can definitely record it I wouldn't recommend taking it 20 kilometers though. We didn't even get the full chance to test it because there's so much interference and stuff around here. Realistically, the DJI Mini 4 Pro can probably go between three to four kilometers. It's just that we're here in my backyard with lots of signal issues, trees and buildings and everything, and we're in a neighborhood right now. If we took it to the field in the back, we can test it to see if it goes further. We might do that in another video, so make sure you subscribe. And it's probably fine for 99% of use cases, especially since it's a super small drone and you can fly it almost anywhere in North America. Bye.